over here. Just down there. Okay, thank you very much. I have no destination in mind, just need to get out of the track. Perfect, thank you very much. Amazing, thank you. Hi guys, it's you's name Kate and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm riding a CF Moto adventure bike or touring bike. Let's just say its main competitors are probably the BMW F850 GS Adventure and the Triumph Tiger 800 XTR but it is of course the CF Moto 800 MT Touring now I don't know if you can see behind but we've got full luggage set up here but with a price that comes in far lower than its competitors it starts at £11,099 plus on the road charges now with a price tag like that for what this bike has I'm hoping that it performs as well as it sounds Okay, so a little bit about this bike 799cc Power figures, we've got brake horsepower of 95 and we've got 77 newton meters of torque now this is gonna fast become CF Moto's flagship bike because as you can see here you have a stunning 7 inch TFT dash not only is it stunning but it loads really quickly as well so a few little facts about this bike you've got a 19 litre tank what have you got on this bike as standard? You've got a slipper clutch, stop that rear wheel locking, you've got a quick shifter and auto blipper, let's put it to the test. So it does like to be singing when you knock it up. I'd really advise just using the clutch, you know, on the uh, low gears. What do you get with this bike as standard? You get fog lights, you get crash bars, you get cruise control, you get a quick shifter and auto blipper, you get full luggage, and it's quite roomy. I'll walk you around the luggage in a moment. You've got heated grips as standard, you've got heated seats as standard, you've got TFT connectivity as standard. And I've actually downloaded the CF Moto app. So we'll see if it can get me back to Alton Park later. But at the moment I haven't set anything because I just want to get lost. We've got a wet weight excluding luggage of 231 kilograms and we have a seat height, a very manageable seat height for an adventure bike or touring bike of 825 mil. a bit wonky donkey then self cancelling indicators cruise control I think I mentioned adjustable levers now this bike is keyed but I do believe that there will be a keyless version available or an option but I think for now it's just key 
which to be fair it's no drama for me I quite like a keyed bike stops you doing what I did and getting four miles away from home switching a bike off and then realizing that I didn't have the key it was on the kitchen side Mike was not best pleased since he had to trait back to get it components of this bike sorry yeah so we've got a parallel twin engine so it takes motor x oil which is very similar to my ktm 690 duke that i had you've got a manually adjustable screen which i wouldn't advise doing it on the fly you need two hands but it just slides up and down and then you tighten it In sport mode, throttle, if I'm being completely honest, is a little bit hunty. But like I said, 95 brake horsepower. But yeah, throttle is quite responsive. Now it says that you can change the modes on the fly so let's give that a go drive mode okay so we go down right so I'm finding sport mode a little bit aggressive on the throttle Oh bugger. This is not where you need a police officer to pass. So I've got it in rain mode now, so we'll see what it's like in terms of that throttle. Should mention that this bike comes with a four year Parts and labour warranty. Four years. That really is quite something. Well, that's not good, is it? Okay, let's see how rain mode is. So, so far I can already feel that rain mode is my preferred mode to ride it in, in terms of throttle response. Oh yeah, yeah it's proper pleasant in rain mode. How does it feel to stand up? Make myself nice and big so that car can see me. Oh, I love that roof. So yeah, what happened was, Jack from CF Moto said to me, Kate, do you want to try one of our, you know, 700 heritage bikes? He said, well, I'm at Alton Park and I've got the 800 MT in the back. So I was like, okay. So he said, if you want to take that out for a few hours, see what you think, and then come back and uh, bugger off with the heritage, we can do that. So as it stands, that's the plan, Batman. But we need to get in front of this caravan. What on God's green earth is going on? Oh, 
Well, something's gone wrong here, hasn't it? Oh yeah, that car's not supposed to be there. Oh, yeah, definitely not supposed to be there. Well guys, I've just pulled up at J&S in Oakmere because my stomach was starting to rumble. It's about two o'clock, so I ordered myself a Rossi wrap, which looks like this. And then, when I've eaten this, we're going to do a walk round of the CF Moto so you can actually look at the bike and see what it's like. Okay, guys, so I've just pulled up at JS Superstar. I've had my Rossi wrap, and now I'm going to show you the CF Moto 800 MT Touring. So, this is what it looks like. Now, on first impressions, it's kind of giving me a little bit of like Africa twin vibe, but also at the front, this is giving me triumph. But I think it's a very, very bonny looking thing. Do you know what? I say Africa twin, maybe a little bit of like NC750 as well, like in the shape. But if we have a walk round of it, so we've got LED lights all round. We do have the fog lights as well. I'll see if I can put them on. There we go. So those fog lights are on. Again, LED all round. LED indicators. If we pan round here. You've got the LED tail light, LED indicators as well. And that is what the full luggage looks like. So you've got a reasonably sized top box. So on the boxes, you've got some really nice quality badging. And one thing that I think is pretty, pretty special, pretty funky, is let me just uh, use my other hand. If we have a look in here, they're actually velvet lined. Now, to me, that is such a bougie touch. So I'll shut that. Again, top box. You've got that velvet. You've also got that lovely badge here. And you've got a handle on top. So other little details here, we've got a heated seat, it's got heated grips as well, you do have adjustable levers, and then I want to show you this screen because this is really impressive. So this is a 7 inch TFT dash, and let's just see what it looks like. Honestly, when I, I fired it up, or at least switched the ignition on, like this is just so elegant. So you've got your miles an hour there, you've got your revs along here, you've got your fuel there, you've got your outdoor temperature, you've got a clock, you've got your range, what's left, you've got what mode you're in there, you've got your trip. And if we just press the set button, it takes you to this. Now this is really giving me sort of BMW TFT dash vibes. You've got a picture of the bike there. You've got tire pressure monitor sensors, which obviously kick in when you're actually moving. You've got your range there. Then if we have a look, press down, you've got trip one, trip two, you've got odometer, you've got speed. Any warnings? So if we press down we've got telephone so you can connect your phone we press down again we've got navigation so I've currently got navigation off but as you can see you've got miles an hour at the top so you can have the navigation on it is turn by turn you don't get a map as such and it does work with the CF Moto app press down again so we've got drive mode so say we select that you've got a sport mode and a rain mode now to tell you the truth, I have found the throttle a little bit hunty in sport mode. 
so I've been riding it in rain and it's made it much better without really sort of hindering the power delivery. If we go back, we've got hand or grip heater, so you can have that on or off. You can have it one, two or three, but given the fact that it's 25 degrees, I'm going to have that off. We go back, you've got the seat heater, so if we press that, again you've got the three levels, but we're going to put that off because I'm not an absolute maniac connections if we go down here so you can do all kinds of connections helmet you can do your phone you can delete connections etc if we go back you've got optional info so this is the stuff that you can see up here you've got trip reset you've got brightness you have units, time, language, and then reset all. You've got all your lights here as well at the bottom. If we look here, you've got hazards there. On this side, you've got cruise control. So to set that, you push that, and then you press set, and it sets it. If you want to go a bit faster, a bit slower, and if you want to knock it off, you can either clutch brake, or you can just knock it off there. Self-cancelling indicators, nice 19 litre tank, it's got a decent tank, it's got really really nice graphics at the side, crash bars are standard, fogs are standard, then on the front, so you've got the spoked wheels which only comes with the touring edition, you've got J Juan brakes, twin this on the front, and Jay Juan uh, disc on the rear, well caliper on the rear, sorry. Suspension wise we've got upside down KYB and then if we pan around here as well we've got a KYB mono shop. So yeah overall I think it looks pretty jazzy. £11,099 plus on the road at the time of this video that does include the boxes. So guys, it's a very hot and sticky day today. I am going to ride this baby back to Alton Park to drop it off with Jack from CF Moto. But yeah, so far, really enjoyed riding it and I can't wait to get it back for hopefully a bit more of a long term, you know, ride so I can really, really see what I think about it when I have it for, you know, more than a few hours. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed this little random review type thing. I literally just had the opportunity to ride this bike and thought, absolutely. Let me know if you've got any questions about this bike, I'll certainly try my damnedest to answer them. And yeah, until the next time guys, take care, look after each other and ride safe.